Okay, baby, let's go! One of the most horror I don't know if I can say that word in the first minute, but one of the most horror events in Nikkei ever. And that is this Golden Coin Rush. This gives two new characters and two new skins, but most of the characters is what I want. Alice Wonderland Bunny and Soda Twinkling Bunny. Uh, Soda came out first, but I didn't pull yet. And Alice just came out today. And the reason why I am super excited about this is because, looky here, I have gems. Also, one of the biggest surprises here, if we go here and go to the main, yep, I am apparently caught up in the story. And honestly, what I can say is that I hate Liverin. And that becomes like there there are only three characters that I hate now. Top three is Liverin, Uni, and Vesti. I made a short why I hate Vesti, and guess what? I still do. Hey, without further ado, let's start this one, baby. The killed. The winning squad this year is none other than then. Hey, let's go! Let's hear a few words from Blanc on 777's behalf! Okay! Hello, everyone! Big shout out to all my fellow competitors for making this tournament such a blast! We had an amazing time and hope you did as well! Bro, I I love the event. <laughs> I, I, I love. I love bunny girls. May Tetraline always bask in good fortune! Let's go. Honestly, what I can say about Mustang is that I really like him. And for the winners of this year's competition, I will be presenting them with the golden ship emblazon with my visage. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's wow. got your face? Thank you. Mustang hands blank, a uh, sparkling golden coin. The size I'm of a fist? I'm sure you are familiar with the rules, no? Only one squad can hold this chip at any given time. Those who possess it will be able to demand a request from more, which I will grant. So you absolutely must keep it safe, mon cher Blanc. I will. I wonder, is there anyone out there who can put a stop to 777 Victor's streak? We will be back in one year's time with more fun and Bro, I'm excited. I'm really excited about the future of, of Nike, my guy. Girls, as always, I eagerly await your dazzling improvements with the passage of time. And with that, madams and messieurs, the Tetra Golden Chip event has come to an end. Hey, let's I'm go. Mustang, Tetra Line CEO. Yeah. And all together now, entertainment. <laughs> entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. Wow, everyone really gets into this whole shindig. I ended up watching the entire thing without even realizing it. <laughs> How? How? Indeed, it appears to be quite enjoyable. Should we toss our hat in the ring next year? Ooh. Ooh, aid. Aid. Aid in a bunny girl outfit? A bunny girl maid? Ooh. No. If a pro maid were to join, the game would be too easy. Cause we'd totally win, you know? It, the, this... Does Coco sound different? I remember Coco's voice. I mean, I remember it. I remember it a bit. But it wasn't this high pitch before. Hard up for cash anyway. Oh wait, never mind. The last event where I remembered Coco was in was in what? Uh the event of like the ReZero collab, right? And there were no voice lines, so I think yeah, I don't know what Coco's voice sound like. Mm, I guess you're right. Instead, let's be sure to check out next year's event. That'd be great! Bro.
One year later. Bonjour, my lovely girl. It's that time of year again. It's none other than the Tetra Golden Chip Showdown. Oh, <gasps> oh my God! I keep forgetting. It looks oh. <sighs> Sorry, you seem quite nervous. Everything all right? Huh? Uh, of course, I'm fine. My god, there is no need to pull on that. You're just making it all. S oh, you're just making it spread out. Just wait and see. I'm gonna bring this home for me for you. No doubt about it. Bit unfair to take the tactics of 777, i.e., turning into a bunny girl. Whew, my guy. My oh my god, even Rupee is here. Oh wait, wait, they're they're missing one bunny girl. Was where's Viper? Yeah, there's Viper's not here. I think she had a bunny girl skin too. Why does Why does Blanc look worried? Oh, the area looks so cool. Nice. I'm gonna check the login stamp first. Oh wait, oh my god, it tracks it. Okay, thank god. I have not been logging in. As you can see, I have not been logging in. Let's go to the shop. Man, this place is huge. What? This place is huge, huge. Wait, what? I own 10? Wait a second. Let me see this. Oh my god, this place is, looks so good. This is what this place looks like on the inside? Damn. Oof! Enter my guy. Are you serious? Original, the original Soda and the original like Alice don't get an, a reward boost? That's dumb. About two weeks before the Tetra Golden Chip event. Bingo. Hello. Good morning! Uh huh? Oh, it's you, Soda. Good morning. Oh, welcome, Soda. As you can see, our morning is anything but good so far. Huh? What's happening? Why? What's wrong? Now that Soda is here, I'll get straight to it. Bro, I honestly don't remember Coco's voice being like that. Made for you isn't seriously hot water. Again? My guy. We've been stretching ourselves awfully thin these past few months to hold various events, but as you may already be aware, the Maid Cafe's clientele still remains the same. As a result, our profit margins have gone down. And we don't have enough capital to continue operating the cafe. We scrounged up every last credit we could get from my piggy bank an aid secret stash i honestly don't remember coco sounding or like speaking so slow but we'll still barely make it through to next month what the, then what do we do now are we going to have to close the cafe i am looking into getting a loan as a last resort but no loans no <sighs> loans i'm not sure loans are bad this can't be i can check if i've got any money saved up <sighs> At that moment, Coco, Aid, and Soda's phone phones all go off at the same time. Hmm? What's this? Beep beep. Considering we all got a notification at once, I'd say it's probably from our group chat. Let's see. Oh my, it's not from our group chat, but Tetra lines. <sighs> oh, are only Tetra hmm? characters only allowed to join? The event or no? A notification for the Tetra Golden Chip event? It's that time already? Uh, we were rather busy last year, and so participating didn't quite cross our mind. All we did was spectate. Hold on, this is it! We should participate this year! If we win, Boss will grant us one win! We can ask for some financial support for the cafe! Do you think that's feasible? Y yeah yeah <laughs> Considering we'd be up against 777, yeah, bro, ask help for, from 777. Who's renowned for Don't ask for my help, I'm broke. Victories. That may be, but we're professional maids. Yeah, no one's gonna look at Coco in a bunny girl outfit. We'll be able to beat them easily, especially in things like origami folding, which I'm really good at. Well, yeah, yeah. 
I don't know origami, but it does not sound like a skill good for competition about bunny girls. That's right! Besides, it's not like we have anything to lose. If we don't win, then at least we tried. Who knows? We could end up working a miracle. Mm. <laughs> I suppose that is indeed the case. Hmm. Okay. Shall we give this notification a proper once-over? Okay. Let's go over the rules for participating first. Rules. Rules. Okay. Teams must consist of three members. One team leader and two other members. Teams okay. can only consist of Mikes from Tetraline. Oh, so it is only or like especially for Tetra characters, I see. Teams do not have to consist solely of members from a single squad. But in the event such a team wins, the team leader will receive the golden chip. My god. Like, my god. Can anyone else say the rules? <laughs> However, one thing of note is that only one member of any given squad can be a team lead. That's all. Hmm. Really? I'm not sure I quite follow that last point. Let me try to put it another way. Let's say I form a team with two Nikkeis from another squad and appoint myself as the team leader. You and Coco may join other teams as members, but you can't take on the team leader role. Ah, I see, I see. Ah, I get it now. This way, each squad can only have one representative in the competition. Isn't it simpler to form teams with members in the same squad? In theory, yes. But there are some squads with less than three members. Moreover, forming teams with other squad members can potentially give you a strategic advantage. Y yeah, what if like a different squad like one and you and one of you are actually in that squad? Yeah, what if, you know? However, someone can pretend to be an ally only to obstruct our efforts for their own squad. Oh, right! There are loads of strategies that can be implemented. In our case, though, we're pretty fortunate since we have exactly three members. Kokoa could be the leader, while Ada what? and I will round out the team. What? Um... No! Ada and Coco exchange furtive glances? So... Yes? Unfortunately... I don't think it's going to be possible for all of us to be on the same team. Why? Huh? Why not? One of us has to stay here to run the cafe. Bro, that's true. According to this notification, participants must stay at Coin Rush for a few days. We can't leave the cafe unattended for that long. Oh. You're right. Keeping the maid cafe open takes top priority. Well, since you're the head maid, Kokoa, I guess we don't have a choice. Wait, she's the head maid? Aid and I will have to do our best without you. The only question is, who should we ask to join? Uh, hmm. Forgive me, Soda, but I believe it is incumbent upon me to remain and assist in managing the cafe. Huh? huh? You too? Like, bro. Aid does almost everything. You do the cleaning, she does the ketchup and... Aid does the cooking, which is important for a cafe, because imagine a cafe with no food. The only thing you go there is the internet now. If we leave one person to handle a three-person job, there's no way things will run smoothly. If Coco tends to the customers and cooks the food, I should be able to manage the rest. But just barely. However, the prospect of obtaining the golden chip remains slim, and we can't afford to jeopardize the cafe for such an uncertain outcome. So that means you can represent me for you. Yeah, she has the biggest bomb. She has the biggest honkers. In the Tetra Golden Chip event, Soda. What? Me by myself? No. You won't be going it alone. You'll be with two other teammates. But I don't have any other friends. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> you yourself mentioned that we had nothing to lose by giving it a try. You could lose your dignity. You know, you are wearing a bunny girl outfit. Didn't you? Y yeah, I did, but... We're sorry to dump all this into your life. If it's all too overwhelming, you don't have to do it. <laughs> Soda timidly looks up and glances around the maid cafe. This place with its pink interior holds cherished memories created by the affable co-workers and customers. It's a place that must be protected. And in order to do that, Soda has to create a miracle. M miracle. Oh, okay, I'll do what I can. Uh, really? Honestly, 
Soda, you don't have to force yourself into this if you don't want to. No, I want to. I, I want to do my part in protecting this place, so let me give it a shot. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to do it, but I'll give it my best. <laughs> You're the best, Soda! Wait, not gonna lie, are people still going to... Are many people still going to come to the cafe if there is this event? You know, a lot of people might stay at, like, the, 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 the event venue. You're truly a professional maid! I'm so proud of you! Wait, in literal, who is the leader? That's leader? right. We'll do our best on our end here as well. Is Coco really the leader of this squad? As for the rest, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Good luck! Have no fear. I've got this in the bag. Yeah, she's just quivering outside the cafe the right now. Game back there. But what in the world should I do now? <laughs> Knew it. Knew it. She quivering her titties. Today was yet another long day. Things were more tumultuous, tumultuous at the outpost as usual. But I'm sure it's nothing to get too worried about. I should wash up and get ready for bed. Knock knock. Question mark. I hear faint knocking at the door. Who is it? Uh, master, are you sleeping? Is that you, Soda, bro? Yes, it's me. Is it okay if I come in for a bit? Of course, come in. Nah, Rappy is going to m to be mad at this. Sorry to disturb you so late. As she walks in, Soda looks significantly more haggard than usual. Is something the matter? <sighs> Actually, Master. Yeah, she's going to explain the bit that the cafe is going to die out. Soda fills in me in on everything that's happened up until this point. So you're going to be representing me for you at the big Tetra Line event. And you need to search for two team members. Yup, I've been wandering around all day. But everyone has already formed their team. Or they're not interested in participating. So I'm having a hard time finding teammates. <sighs> so I wanted to ask... Yes? Uh, perhaps you would be interested in joining my team? I don't remember myself being a Tetra. Me? Yeah, right here, in the fine print. It says, one team member can consist of an individual of one's choosing. Oh. I guess Coco and Aid didn't catch that bit. But? If I can't find enough team member, the maid cafe is done for. Coco and Aid are counting on me. She guilt tripping my ass. Are things really <laughs> that bad in the cafe? They are. All of these events have put us in the red big t with things as they are. We can continue to operate the cafe for a month, max. Going up against the 777 squad won't be easy. But I can't stand idly by and let the maid, maid cafe disappear. Ah, uh, but I know this is a big ask, and I don't want to force your hand. I was just wondering if you could possibly help. Soda? Yeah? As of this moment, consider me as your teammate. Team oh leader. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah, uh, let's do whatever we can to to keep the ma maid cafe up and running. Uh, thank you, master! Oh, really? Really give it my all, I promise! I'll clean the commander's room right now and give you Don't. a whole bunch of coupons for the maid cafe as well. Okay, I appreciate it. Anyway, who should we pick for our last team member? Hmm, it's a bit of a last minute, but I was planning on hanging out in front of Coin Rush tomorrow. That's what I was going to do if you had said no. What's the rationale behind that? The registration starts tomorrow, so I figured some people who are curious or had an interest in the competition might show up. If you don't have anyone particular in mind, why don't we head over to Coin Rush tomorrow and see who we can recruit? Sounds like a plan. I'll see you there tomorrow. Alright, I'll be right back. Where are you going? I've got to go get my cleaning tool. Don't worry, I'll be quiet and leave once I'm done cleaning. Wait? What do you mean wait? After a while, Soto comes back with her arms full of cleaning supplies. Once the commander's room is cleaned to her satisfaction, she heads back to her dorm, leaving my room sparkling and immaculate. Nice. Nice. The next day, as Soda predicted, Coin Rush is filled with Nikkeis who have come to register for the event as well as a Curious spectators. There are even some customers who intended to play some games at Coin Rush but found themselves unable to do so due to the preparation of the oh event. Oh my goodness! Look at all these people! It's enough to make you dizzy! Yeah, if you're an introverted person like myself, I would hate crowded areas too. 
Uh, I'm not even sure where to start. Me neither. S shall we head in? Let's do it. We start to push our way through the crowd and head inside. Thud. Oops, sorry. It's okay. Huh? Oh, Rogue. Hi, Roller. Hi, Rogue. That's my name. Uh, Rogue, it's you. It's been a while. I was wondering when I was going to see you next. Hmm. To be honest, though, this isn't really the best timing. Really? We're accepting applications for a big event from today, so it's busier than usual. If you're looking to play some games, you might have to wait a few days. Uh, actually, so didn't I have come to participate in the event. Really? Oh, I see. You two must have read the fine print on the notification. Oh, dear. The bunnies are going to be so green with envy. Ha! Don't, don't care. As long as I win. What do you mean? Nothing. At any rate, I suppose Soda is to be the team leader. Have you signed up yet? Um, not yet. We've not found our third team member yet. Hmm, that might be tough. The reason we changed the rules on team formations was to dissuade the same members from forming the usual teams, which has always resulted in the same winners year after year. Ah, However, I see. It doesn't appear to have changed as much as I hoped. I see. You might have better luck looking for someone who initially didn't intend to participate. However, they might inherently lack the drive to be in a competition like this. Oh my gosh, gravity! Oh. <gasps> Exclamation mark. Something diminutive. <laughs> diminutive. Is that like a dimin diminutive? Diminutive? My god. Diminutive suddenly slams into me, throwing me off balance. Alice. Hey there, gravity! I was told I might find you here. Turns out, it's true! Alice, you're still here? Before, by the way, although I didn't end up finding the black or white rabbit, I did find a rabbity. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense now. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Hmm, I found her poking around here despite the fact she was getting pushed around by the crowd. So I asked what she was looking for. She told me she was looking for two rabbits. A black one and a white one, to be precise. Noir and Blanc. I was told I'd be able to find them if I came here. I figured she was referring to Blanc and Noir, but they would never show their faces in such a crowded situation like this. That makes sense. So I turned her away since there was no chance she'd see them to. Therefore, I'm not entirely sure what she's still doing here. <laughs> That's a fair point. So, what are you doing in the arc, Alice? She needed something, so I tacked along. She's off taking care of something on her own, so I was just looking around. Did she touch anything that has electricity on it. Speaking of, now that I got to fill my rabbit quota, I should probably head back to the queen. Alice. Yes, rabbity? Are you in, are you still interested in meeting the white and black rabbits? Uh, you bet I am! I'd love to meet them more than anything! <laughs> oh my god, this is manipulation to the max. Then how about you team up with me and Soda in here and play a game? A game? Hold on. Master, don't tell me. Anike from Tetraline who has her own clear objective, but has no desire for the golden ship itself. Alice fits the bill perfectly, yup, perfectly. I... I'd be honored! Not only do I get to meet the white and black buddies, I get to play a game as well! Yeah, but you're going to wear a super lewd outfit. <laughs> that sounds like a blast! We left out that part. Oh, right. I do have to get back to the queen now. Wait just a moment, uh, if I take out my phone... Ludmilla, can you chat for a second? Hello, servant. Of course. What is it? Can I borrow Alice for a few days? What for? To participate in the coin rush event. Ah, I presume you're referring to the event exclusively for Tetra Line case? I doubt Alice would have any interest in such a thing. I'd normally agree with you, but the money girls are involved. Bunnies, you say? That makes more sense. Well, since it's you, I'll trust you know what you're doing. I hope you can show Alice a good time. Of course. I got permission from Ludmilla. Oh, really? So, I'm going to get to play with Rabbity and Twinkling Bunny? Twinkling Bunny? Uh, what did you just call me? Twinkling Bunny. Twinkling Bunny? Because you're so resplendent. Okay, that makes sense. She cleans stuff and makes them cl twinkly. Well, I guess that is fitting, considering I'm all about making my surroundings sparkly clean. See? I really appreciate you saying that. I think we're gonna get along just fine, you and I. Yeah, they probably share the same brain cells in another parallel universe. I think so too. Hmm, I'm glad to see that you've got yourself a complete team. Let me take you to the registration desk. Ooh. 
I got someone to escort me. Not even gonna gonna line. Follow me, please. Not even gonna join a line. That's that's nice. Thanks a bunch, Rouge. You made the process. Oh, Rouge, really not Rogue. <laughs> I see. Don't mention it. Just don't forget to bring that rabbit-shaped badge you received when you registered. Got it. So, what kind of game are we playing here anyway? I don't know, a fashion show? Sorry, but we can't reveal that until the day of the event. I guess it won't be easy to get extra hints like last time. Last time? What do you mean? Oh, I remember now. Are you talking about Noir and Blanc's lucky kiss? Oh, okay, I remember. Unfortunately, since actually competing ourselves this time, we can't help you. However, you know our greatest strength better than anyone else. What is it? That I do. That's right. Apparently. Look, I apparently do. If you oh, could somehow find a way to turn that luck in your favor, it could become quite a close game. Don't you think? Agreed upon. Good luck to you all, then. Thank you! Thanks! Should we head back now? Da, da, da. Huh? Master? Rabbity? It's as Rouge said, we're up against 777 squad. Who has luck on their side? Lucky. No luck, however, is ultimately relative. In which case, let's okay. go. Let's go turn luck on our huh? side. What do you mean by that? Trust me, I have a plan. <laughs> I should have figured. I'm just following your lead, Rabbity. Bro. This is our lucky Alice color is a this victim. Month. victim. It's a wonderfully subtle and soft shade of green, don't you think? Yes, it's so pretty. Uh, Master, is this what you had in mind? That's right, what you think? Don't tell me your entire plan is just... I should let you know that we have a special offer on these lucky bracelets. If you buy two, you'll get a 10% discount. Man, am I being swayed? Holy moly, they're more expensive than I thought they'd be. I'll pay? Huh? Bro, I'm probably loaded. Buzz hmm? buzz. I just received a message from an unfamiliar number. Congratulations! You received a lucky letter. Send it to your friends within the next four days before it expires. Don't worry about that. It's just spam. Uh, wait, is it important? I have a feeling it's important. Hurry and forward to everyone you know. Huh? What's happening? Why are there so many people on this street? Wow, you're right. This place is packed. Wow. It's an exhibition that you can only see once a year. Bro, who are these people? What a Playboy? Why is your name Playboy? You're right. Women with hairpin. Where? <laughs> Where's the hairpin? I'm glad I took a day off today. Yeah, I'll take a photo and upload it to my socials. The line doesn't seem to be moving, though. Let's get in the line as what? well. Hurry. Uh, okay. Let's Bro, go, what, is okay. what is this? What is this? What is this? My goodness, the sun has already set. I'm not sure what that was all about, but it sure was fun. Bro, I feel bad for Alice being here. Now there's only one place left to visit. Okay, I'm game if everyone else is. Next up, the cosplay store. Uh, cosplay store? Alright, let's go! I'm pretty sure Alice Master. is going to be delighted because she's going to dress up as a rabbit. I don't but my God. have any objections to wearing this, but do you really think it'll be useful? Duh. Most of the people voting is probably men. Horny men, in fact. Horny teenage men, in fact. Of course it will. In actuality, I'm not sure <laughs> of my plan is going to work out. I mean, just cosp copying Noir and Blanc's style. And obsessing over every bit of luck related stuff doesn't guarantee we'll improve our luck. But then again, it's hard to wrap my head around why Noir and Blanc always seems to have their best luck. See? It's Luda's f- Ta-da! I put on the new clothes! What do you think? Does oh, it it's even got her name. name. Wait, this is a cosplay store? Did they- Was this custom made? <laughs> you look adorable. Do you think so? <laughs> it even comes with funny ears! Kinda makes me wanna hop around. Try so. I mean, don't, don't so, don't so. You will jiggle those. Al Al Alice always, uh, Alice seems to be a big fan of the bunny outfit. You're not done yet, Twinkling Bun. I'm coming out now. It's a bit of a struggle since it's a few sizes too small. Few sizes? Get one that is your size. Oh my god. Uh, what do you think? yeah. Don't not stick your tongue out. Do I look okay? Whoa. You really are. 
No. Brightest is the wrong word. Aw, thanks, Alice. You look really cute, too. That I agree, actually. You're like an adorable baby bunny. Please don't. <laughs> don't. 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 I'm serious, don't. <laughs> These outfits are so fluffy and soft. I'm guessing the tail and the ear, but no, this is like skin tight. Or, yeah, that's fit. Toda and Alice hug each other affectionately and gush over each other. Feeling a bit out of place, I avert my gaze. Tr truly, you should. I think we've done all the preparations what we can for now. Oh yeah, this is more than enough, Master. I want to thank you both. It's only because of you that I was able to participate in this event. My god, stop sticking out your tongue. Even though you're probably not, it looks like you does. Whatever the outcome is, I'll... Stop right there. Uh -huh. Our goal is to win, baby, win. I don't want to hear a word about being happy with anything else. Ooh. Less. So, winning first place is our goal? In that case, I'll do my best! Bro, Alice is the best character we could have gotten paired with this. But my god, I cannot look away. If we work together, we'll be able to do this no problem! <sighs> You're right! With you two by my side, I can do this! I've gotta keep my head held high for the sake of the maid cafe and to make you both proud! That's right! That's right! First place is going to be mine! Let's do Ours. this! Ours! Ours! We're at... We're a team, it's, it, it, the word you're looking for is ours. After some time, the day of the Tetra Golden Chip Showdown arrives. Oh, I thought there were already tons of folks when we signed up, but that was nothing compared to this crowd. Yeah, the crowd is coming to see biddies. No kidding. Loads of people have come to watch the competition. Where are we supposed to go? The, the waiting area? I don't know. Hey, you guys, over here. It's good to have a friend, you know. Oh, those are chips. Hey, Rouge. We make our way through the crowd to Rouge, who is standing in front of the security checkpoint. You can enter from this side. Only participants are allowed inside. Good, okay. Do we just go in? Do you have the rabbit-shaped badge you received when you registered as a participant? I don't know. If you do, then yes. I've got right so here. So long as you wear that, none of you will have any problems entering. Yeah, I have a feeling that one of us is going to lose it. Alice skips inside. Skips? The best word is hot. Toda and I follow inside. Oh god. Thanks, Rouge. Don't mention it. Have fun out there. After saying her well wishes, Rouge disappeared. Man, I always thought yeah. was Rogue. It's a relief that only participants are allowed inside. Yeah, it's nice that getting jostled around all the- I slowly glance around my surroundings a spot and spot a few familiar faces sitting nearby. Looks like just about everyone is participating. Oh, check that out! There's something in there that's sparkling like crazy! Huh? That's... Is it Rupee? Is that Mustang's golden ship? Oh, I thought it was Rupee. In a display case positioned in front of the stage, there's a golden ship minted with Mustang's face on it. Holy crap, it's the actual coin! If we can get our hands on that, we can save the maid cafe from going under! Soda? Hmm, where do you think the black and white bunnies are? I wanna meet them ASAP! They'll probably come out at this from the center oh, stage. Really? really? I'm so excited! What about you, Twinkling Bunny? I'm right there with you. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. Bro, you should be. <sighs> bro, if you accidentally let go, bro, your nipples are out for the world to see. I can sense that Soda is more anxious than eager, so I'm about to offer a word of support when suddenly, click, the lights go out. Pulse pounding music begins to play. Boom, 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 boom. Lights on central stage burst into life, strobing, strobing in sync with the music. <gasps> Entertainment! Under the main spotlights, a familiar figure. Bonjour, my lovely girls! Yeah. And a warm welcome to all those who have come to see the spectacle! Say! Entertainment. Yeah, you did not to entertainment crowd. Of fun and games. Mm, that's right. It's the one and only Tetra Golden Chip Showdown. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this time around, we've gone all out and prepared special air room for all participants. So, everyone, be my guest. Feast, revel, and frolic to your heart's content at Coin Rush. Boom, boom, boom. It's getting real now. Wow, what a presentation! Really? The first game will commence tonight. Until then, take the time to get to know everyone around and familiar say yourself a Vec Coin Rush! What's a Vec? Feel free to quench your thirst with some of our delicious beverages as well. Mm, all right then. Until I return, enjoy your free time, and always remember... Entertainment! Entertainment! Bro, I butchered that so hard. Flick, are ah, my eyes. The lights, la the lighting returns to normal, and Mustang is nowhere Boss to be seen. Boss always knows how to make an entrance. Um, I didn't get to see either of the bunnies. I'm sure you'll be able to see them in the evening when the game starts. You think so? Of course! Alright. Then I'll have to be patient, I guess. Yeah! Speaking of which, we have to... Huh? We have quite a bit of free time on our hands. Oh, right! What should we do until the game begins? I don't know. At a glance, I noticed Talentum and Prima Donna at first sight on the first floor, at, while Protocol and Cafe Sweetie have gone up to the second floor. It might be a good idea to go to one of the floors and chat with them. Ooh, Prima Donna or Cafe Sweetie? Wait, wait, wait! I think I'm going to check out the first floor because I, first I have a floor? feeling that's yeah. that's going to be where like. Ruby is it's right. Massive, and all of these flashing lights make it hard to figure out where to start. Wait, I'm wrong. Wait, Prima Donna is like Volume Squad. Oh shit. Flashing lights? These lights may be dazzling, but they don't hold a candle to you. Oh wow. Oh damn. <laughs> Alice's Riz game is up. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> It's easy to get lost in here, so why don't we explore the first floor together? We can talk to some other Nikkei. And maybe dig up some juicy details about the other team. That's a good idea. Nice, nice. Scouting information. See what their weaknesses. Exploit them. Manipulate them. Kill. I like the sound of sticking together too. Let's wander around together. Twinkling bunny. Gravity. Sure thing. I slowly survey my surroundings. In front of us is a massive stage that Blanc and Noir normally performed on. Along with the equally gargantuan disco ball, amidst the bustling crowd, I can't help but notice the, fam the, the many familiar faces scattered throughout. While we may have a fair amount of time, it won't be enough to speak to everyone. Tal oh, Talentum, that's where Rupi is. Talentum seems to be the closest squad to us, so let's start with them. True, true. So the strategy this time is... Mm, my god. Huh? Wait a second. Rupi, would you please stop interrupting me? No, it's not that. Isn't that Sweetie coming over to us? Sweetie! Whoa, it's a golden bunny! Huh? Hey, guys. Whoa, I'm surprised to see you here. The fact that you're here must mean you're participating with the team. Wait, how does that work? I don't know. You're not even with Tetra, and certainly not a Nikkei. <laughs> I, I defy all odds, there was even if it's 100%. One team member can be anyone you want. Really? Darn. I hate the idea of going up against you, honey. Are you teaming up with Soda and Alice? Yep, and all I gonna say? Man, this truly is the horniest event. Yeah, Soda is our team leader. So you're participating under the maid for your banner. I heard that they were going through some tough times. Looks like you're aiming for a big payoff. Er, you know about that? Of course. Information is the most valuable thing you can possess in this business. You're right, you're right. After all, after- Oh my god, are you all after the Tetra shapes as well? Naturally. Once we win this competition, I'm going to ask Mustang for a significant payout. You can damn. never have enough money, and I'm sorely lacking in it. God damn. Plus, if there's anyone on this planet who can supply me with fat stacks of cash, it's Mustang. Right, actually right, yeah. Exactly. Although, if we do get first place, there's- Oh god, she wasn't done, my god. 
I see that you're dressed up in a bunny theme outfit today, Ruby. That's right. I always wear this outfit whenever I do a live stream at Coin Rush. Man, don't people give you? I bet there are millions of people tier tier five subs to you, Ruby. Every time you wear that outfit. Lupin simply can't get enough of it. I can hardly blame that it looks great. Why, thank you. Are you planning to live stream here? Of course. I better not see myself show up in anything. I retain all rights to my likeness. Damn. Bro, if Yan is going to show up in Ruby's stream, she's gonna sue her ass. Likewise. Don't be ridiculous. I wasn't planning on filming either of you from the start. Damn. True to form, Talentum is composed of big and bold personalities. But when the situation calls for it, they're capable of act they're capable of acting like a remarkable well-oiled machine. By the way, client, you came to see us as soon as you had a free moment. Are you scoping us out? What no, nothing like that. Oh, so we seem like pushovers then, is that it? No. Hmm. I don't think Soda or Alice have been to Coin Rush. I presume what he's doing is showing them around the place and getting better sense of who's participating while they do so. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yan sure is sharp. We need to be on our toes. Well, whatever the reason may be, I'm glad you came to see me, sweet. However, even if it is you, I won't go easy on you. Bro, I don't care. We're going to give it our all regardless. I'm looking forward to how this pans out. Me too. We won't go easy on you either, my guy. Our conversation with Talentum draws to a close. Wow, there are way more rabbits here than I thought there would be! I'm on cloud nine right now! Where are we going next? Are there gonna be more rabbits there as well? Yeah, actually. Only one way to find out. Let's go. Okay, okay. With a swift glance, I spot Prima Donna in the first distance. In the... Oh my hey, god. I'm the leader. Didn't we all agree to that? That may be true, but that doesn't mean you can push us around. Pushing you around? Don't you think that's a bit harsh? <sighs> I'm already getting tired of this. What are you up to? Huh? Producer. Producer. What are you doing here? Are you here to cheer us on? I'm so touched. No, that can't be it. Only participants can enter this area. So Maestro must have joined one Maestro? of the teams. Maestro? You, you three call me differently. Oh, really? Is that even possible? Who's the team leader? Uh, Soda. Oh, that would be me. Really? Doesn't seem like a team we should be worried about. Oh, oh my god, damn. that That's harsh volume. Uh, how can you? So we have to compete against producer? Seems like it. We're all planning in competition. For the sake of our future performance. I, I just realized I said that wrong. Why are you all participating in the competition and I can't even remember what I said? Of course, we're more than capable of staging an amazing performance on our own. But if we have Mustang's backing, we could take things to a whole other level. Yep, the surface. Exact with Mustang's golden chip, we can put on a performance that will be the talk of the town. Plus, the competition itself is a blast. If we win, we're gonna make it so the next competition centers around hip-hop. Hip-hop? That way? No one else would stand a chance against us. Wait, actually, we got singing Nikkeis. Do we have, like, dancing Nikkeis? You know, the Nikkeis that, that mainly perform in dancing, the dancing aspect in entertainment? Because I don't think we have that yet. <sighs> there seems to be some internal strife within Prima Donna, yeah. However, with each one de demonstrating such formidable strength individually, it's clear they cannot be understood. Anyway, I understand you must have good reasons for participating, but I have no intentions of going easy on you. I don't I look care. forward to an exhilarating match. We don't expect you to go soft on us either. Okay, good. Good luck. Same to you. Our conversation with Prima Donna draws to a close. Phew. I didn't really do anything, but I feel like my energy has been depleted. Mm -hmm. So does also seem to be morose. So are you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. Of course. Coin Rush sure seems like a fun and exciting place. And Bro, so big. Volume's a bitch. <laughs> she just personally attacked Soda and her squad for no reason. <laughs> Thanks for accompanying me, you guys. I had fun.
fun too. I'm still a bit bummed that I didn't get to see the black and white bunnies. I thought for sure we'd run into one of them. Uh, hold on. I think I see bunny ears in front of the stage. Oh, do you think it might be them? Huh? Where? Oh my gosh, you're right! It's the head! Is it actually them? I follow Alice thinking that Blanc Noir must have arrived, huh? Much to my surprise, Folk Wang. Oh, that's your that's your name, right? I don't think I have Folk Wang yet. As much as I've played this game for at least two years, no, one year, for at least one more than one year, I have I still don't have Folk Wang. Keeps the raptures away. Next stage. What is this? What is this? What is this? Folk Wang Mary. Oh, hi, Coach. Hmm. Coach, you call me Coach. Commander, are you participating in the competition too? Yes. I was going to ask you the same thing. No, I'm here as a member of the medical staff. We don't want anyone getting injured after all. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, that's your picture right there. But why did you cosplay as a bunny girl, though? What kind of game are we going to be playing? <laughs> I'm not sure. As for me, I'm participating. Epinel and Rumani aren't terribly interested in this kind of thing. So I asked Protocol to join me. Who's Rumani? <sighs> I want to win this thing so I can ask for a portable air conditioner. That's it? That's... That's it? A portable... Oh my god. You already dropped the water on yourself. What's wrong with you? Uh, it's like a sauna in here. I see. My goodness. So many people have shown up! Wowzer! Slippery Bunny! And Dr. Bunny! Dr. Bunny is better! When did you two become rabbits? Eh? You mean the clothes? Oh, it's so sweltering in here that I was drenched in sweat just moments after arriving. So I went to ask if they could turn on the AC. Instead, they recommended that I wear this outfit. <laughs> you got scammed into wearing something lewd, my guy. This outfit is designed for Blanc and Noir to beat the heat, since they always perform under scorching stage lights. Oh, that sucks. They're definitely way cooler than what I was wearing before, I'll tell you that much. Probably not cool enough, because it seems like you dropped... Is that water or wine? Either way, you're dropping ice-cold water or wine to yourself. I guess there's nothing I can do about this heat, though. As for me, I just wore it to brighten the mood. Bro, you're not brightening any moods. Like, seriously, you are not brightening any moods. You're just making wood bigger, my guy. I think it's the perfect outfit for someone working at Coin Rush. Yeah, yeah. It's the outfit that can turn any man on. What do you think? Does it look good on me? You look fantastic! Oh boy, so many rabbits everywhere! Come to think of it, you two are wearing the same outfit too! Oh yes, that's right! Master gave us these outfits because they're bestowed with good luck! You look great! Anyway, I would like to emphasize once more the importance of safety to everyone. Wait, actually, you're here. Why not give something to, like, Falk Wang so that she won't accidentally get heat stroke? Oh wait, she's a Nikkei. Do Nikkeis get heat stroke? Probably not. Whatever game you end up playing, be safe. And don't get yourself hurt out there. Don't care. We've set up a temporary infirmary inside. So if you feel unwell or out of sorts, just head over there. Will do! So, Soda, you're the team leader, right? That's right. I know I may not look it, but I am. <laughs> all right. Give it your all, everyone. I'll be cheering you all on. Anyway, it seems like it's about to start soon. So I'll head inside. Okay. <sighs> If Mary said the competition is about to start, then that means... Skeptically, all of us turn towards the stage in unison. Mustang! Mustang has already taken the stage, though we don't know when he got there. Hello again! Free time is up now! Did Free everyone make good now. use of your time? Next, I would like everyone to gather in the main hall! The scattered participants slowly starts walking to their seats. I mean talk- start talking- TAKING! God, I'm blind, I'm blind. Scattered participants all slowly start taking their seats in front of the stage. Now, before we start the game, 
Allow me to present there the winners from last year, the 777 squad. Bro, is there an easier way to say that name? Come on out, my lucky girls. Bro, I'm just gonna call them 7 cubed. <laughs> it's like much better. The lights go out and then their place a lone spot spotlight illuminates the stage. Shining on Rouge, Blanc, and Noir, who have been there from who knows when. Hello, I'm the Lucky Bunny Blanc. And I'm the Lucky Bunny Noir. Hello, I'm your Game Master, Rouge. Bro, bro, I imagine Rouge as like a uh, burst one so that they can like do. They can like do shit in unison. Allow me to explain the rules of this golden ship showdown. The games we have prepared will be played by all the teams, on exception of 777. The games will be conducted in an elimination tournament. This will continue until only one team is left. What, and the team left is going to 1v1 7 cube? At which point, they will have the honor of challenging the 777 squad! The final game remains a mystery to everyone, even those in 777. The team leader of whichever group wins the final game will be given the key! The key! What's all this talk about a key all of a sudden? Yeah, actually, I was going to ask. I can already hear the questions formulating in your minds. Mm, so let me explain. As you can all see, there is a display with the golden chip in front of the principal stage. The key which can open this display is the very same key which will be bestowed upon the winner. That makes sense. <laughs> I get it! Whoever receives that key will be able to open the display and claim the golden chip. Right, right. Which team will have the honor of challenging us? Only time will tell. I'll be waiting for you and cheering you all on! Do they know? Do they know that I'm participating with two other ladies? We wish you all the best of luck. <gasps> it's them! It's really them! If we win, we get to see them up close, right? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Alright. And I'll do whatever I can do to win! How about murder? I wanna get voted together with them more than anything! Let's do our best, everyone! Let's do this! And with that, mesdames and messieurs, let the game commence! Commence! Field change, let's go. go. Go to the field, let's see what happens to the field now. Is the field fielding Best now? Up. We have... This is not the field. Aha, uh -huh. so another power outage happened. But I guess I could really just recall what actually happened. Which is, we played a game, which was like the dinosaur minigame you do when, you know, when there's no power. And we met Mary and Folkwang. Yeah, 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 that pretty much, that's pretty much it. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with my selfie stick. Oh, right, okay, it actually, uh, started and where it actually let, left off, which is, we had, like, a baton pass race, you know, like, what most animes, like, rom-com, slice of life anime bullshit, we see every, di every time we, we watch anime. That includes high school. Yeah, we did that. The setup was uh, Alice first, then Soda, then me, and then we were fighting against uh, what's his Talentum, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is Talentum, and their order was Dala, Yan, and Rupee. And in the end, uh, near the end, Soda tripped. I get no, her hand gave out and accidentally like let go of the baton. And when I was cashing it, we accidentally hit Ruby. And apparently, she had a selfie stick. You're not hurt, are you? Apologizing to him is all well and good, Ruby. But don't you have anything to say to us? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know this would happen. <sighs> What's done is done. I'm just glad no one got hurt. How about me? I got hit by a selfie stick. I'm leaving you to calculate the damages caused by this incident. We hardly expected to be eliminated in the first round. Wait, you guys? Oh! Wait! 
they the, one of the rules was if any of us like hit the obstacles is we are eliminated immediately and i guess like she hit the selfie stick on us so that's what eliminated them Aren't i guess you being a bit harsh i mean probably a bit uh justified none of this would have happened if you just agreed to film me we were running in the race as well why would i have had time to film you Dala probably could have you know she was the first one who like ran let's move on from this don't piss me off any more than you already have this wasn't a solo competition but a team effort rupee running out there with a selfie stick was beyond foolish ah you're right now now the three of you can discuss this elsewhere commander would you come over here for a moment? Right, right. Uh, what the 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 lost footage also had me, uh, freaking like bonering up <laughs> when uh, Mary and that basically loose ass. Yeah, it's loose and folk wangs like loose also. You know, would me? Yes. <laughs> I'll come along too. Me too. Yeah, let's go. Let let's go. Go three. No, I'll be back in a minute. You both stay I'm here. Uh, okay. Please be careful. Soda, how the heck did your hand gave out near the end? <laughs> I'll leave Alice and Soda behind and follow Mary to the infirmary. But in reality, how the f how did Soda like? What was the was she like super anxious or something that she let go of this the thing These that we guys need? These are just now. Please take off your shirt. Wow, starting off strong. Excuse me. You had quite a fall out there. It's only a fall, my guy. If there was a bruise, then it'd be weird for you to wear a bunny girl outfit and me removing my shirt in front of you. So. I have a feeling that someone will walk inside the room. <laughs> so, I presume you must still be in a fair bit of pain. <gasps> Poke. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mary gently pokes my left side. Bro, this is a different type of horny. You, you should lose your medical license for malpractice. Sending bolts of sharp pain. Okay, I am apparently hurt. I'm sure you felt that, right? Now take off your shirt so I can check your injury. I want to make sure there aren't any underlying issues. <laughs> Apparently, I'm just stuffing, stuffing out through a dislocated shoulder. Dot dot dot. I cautiously remove my hmm. shirt. I don't see any major damage. Just a moment. Mary continues to poke, poke and prod around. Yeah, this this is sounding erotic. Hmm. There does seem to be a minor muscle injury from the impact. It should it's only a minor for daily activities, but you should avoid anything strenuous, or they might aggravate the injury. As your doctor, my recommendation is that you bow out of the game here. Bruh, bruh, no. I can't do that. <laughs> I knew you would say that. Very well. Then promise me one thing, that you won't push yourself too hard. Ha! Do you even know who I am? My devilish charms can pass through any injury. Mir and I think you promise. Shit. You better keep your promise for now. I'll wrap you with the pressure bandage to mitigate the pain. Don't worry, that won't be necessary. <laughs> Is it because you're afraid Soda and Alice might get worried seeing you like that? That's true that, why true that. You insisted on coming to see me on your own. Hmm. Fine. I'll wrap it so that it won't be obvious to the naked eye. It might end up getting worse if I don't address it at all. Fine. Are there other games similar to the one we just did? <laughs> I don't know the detail, but the fact that they felt it was necessary for me to be here should tell you something. Yeah, okay. You're right, you're right. Just a moment. As I'm wor worrying about the upcoming games, Mary leans in close to wrap a bandage around my shoulder and chest. I don't know where to direct my gaze, and out to sheer nervousness, I blurt out the first thing that comes to mind. What is it, pities? Are those clothes not uncomfortable? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, you mean this bunny costume? <laughs> it's not uncomfortable by any means, but it does feel a bit plain. Plain and see-through, my guy. Like, this is probably one of the most, like, showy, showy, like, skins out there. Number one is Naked King, because Jesus Christ, it was literally a rag, not a rag, 
but basically a towel on top of a naked lady while while the strongest star just dazzling at the, the middle of her torso I mean chest and just removing any sight of her nipples in fact I find it quite comfortable since there's not much material to get in the way. I'm even considering wearing this back at the hospital since a kid like Alice is also such a fan of it. My god, you're making this super weird now. Knowing Alice is like wearing a bunny girl outfit, it's you're making it super weird that <laughs> that she, you're saying that she's a kid. Come again? <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> That should do the trick with your bandit. I've wrapped them quite thinly, so they shouldn't be noticeable. This goes without saying, but you should refrain from using your left shoulder too much. You've got to keep your promise not to overexert yourself. Promise will be broken. If you continue to feel pain or discomfort, be sure to see me straight away. I will, thank you, Mary. I put my shirt back on, then head out in the infirmary. I'm surprised no one accidentally came by and, and thought another thing was happening. You know, like any accidents that ever happened. Get the, the moment they stepped out of the infirmary, Soda and Alice rushed towards me. Is everything me. okay, Master? Why did yeah. Mary call you over so suddenly? You're not injured, are you? What? Nah. Nobody's hurt? Where? Nah, I'm fine. Not a lot of pain? No, not even one. Not, uh, uh, no pain. I was just checking to make sure I was okay. I'm perfectly fine. That's a relief. Oh, I'm sorry, Master. It's all my fault. Nah, no, no, it's fine. That's no, fine. If I'd held on to the baton. We good. We good. We good. How is that your fault? Sweetie's Honestly, I wouldn't right. fault her. If the blame should be pinned on anyone, it should be me. No, no bunny girls will be put on blame. <gasps> I heard you were sent to the infirmary. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay, good. I just got back from getting chewed out by Dala and Yan. I didn't consider how dangerous it would be carrying around that selfie stick during the race. Not even- you, you didn't even consider it once? So, I want to apologize to you all once again. Rupee bows her head to it's us. Okay. No! On that no, note, this thing would show, bro. This thing would show. Don't bow down. I've decided to remain here and cheer you all on. Our team? Yep. That's Aww, nice. Be nice. What did I say? I accidentally clicked on it. Are you sure it's not because you want to live stream? <laughs> sure. It's true that continuing to stream is important, but honestly, I think it's way more fun to stay in here and cheer for a team. Don't you agree? However, that means you all have to win first place for me. That's already the plan, uh, baby girl. Yeah. Don't worry. We've got this in the bag. <laughs> really in the bag. I like your confidence. Why are you so intent on winning? So that I can see the black and white bunnies. I want to get a photo together with them. All right, then. You all have got to win so that Alice gets her precious group photo. And Soda can get what she wants as well. I'll be on the sidelines, cheering you all on. Wait, what do I get? Pride? Good luck. I guess a boner. Or material, to be honest. Thank you, Rupee. Uh, th th thank you! After hearing how supported Rupee will be for us and going forward, we will we all feel instilled with an overwhelming confidence at the fact that we've acquired another ally. I almost said Ally after oh, dinner. Man, I'm stuffed. The food was simply scrumptious. <laughs> I know, right? I've never eaten such a luxurious meal. Very much Mustang style. After a satisfying meal, we head to our assigned accommodations. Let's see. Our room is over here. Wait, we share our room? Oh shit. Oh my! What a pretty room! There's only one bed. Oh no. I'm gonna sleep on that couch, baby boy. The bed is massive! Are we all supposed to sleep in it together? You're right. There's only. Huh? One bed? Well, uh, Soda and I friendly look around the room, but to no avail. Oh, that's not a couch. Aside from the oversized bed in front of us, the area is bereft of other places to sleep. Ooh, like this thing. Soft. Come and lie down, you guys. Er, uh, that's okay. I actually prefer sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Don't lie. No, you take the bed. Absolutely not. I can't let you sleep on the floor. Huh? Both of you are gonna sleep on the floor? Why? 
There's more than enough space on the bed. My god, why did you make this innocent, sweet, sweet child ca childlike character, childlike character to wear a god a goddamn bunny outfit, my guy? Mm. All right then. I'll take the floor too. I want to sleep with you guys. <gasps> Don't you think it'll be a little strange for all of us to be sleeping on the floor when there's a big bed right in front of us? Yeah. Why don't we all just share the bed then? Oh, uh, that'd be like a mother, father, and daughter. Uh, for Alice, sleeping separately clearly isn't an option. If that's the case, let's all sleep in the. Oh, uh, just make me not in the middle, my guy. I want to sleep in the middle. Oh, thank God. And squeeze it nice and tight between you two. No. <laughs> no. Idea. After we've all taken a shower and laid down on the bed to sleep, I find myself feeling glad that I'm not right next to Soda. Thank God, because her tits is wrong. <laughs> dot dot dot. My left shoulder still feels a bit stiff. I hope the game tomorrow isn't physical. As physical, slowly I drift off to sleep. What do you? I have a feeling she knows that we have injury. The next morning. I awaken to the feeling of warm sunlight on my face, a soft bed underneath me. Are you sure there are no babies anywhere? And soft hair. With some trepidations, I open my eyes. Hmm. I'm startled at to, to find Alice's face dangerously close to mine. Hmm? Robity? Morning, hey. Alice. Did you sleep well? Yes. Are you both up? Good morning! Good morning, Twinkling Bunny! Were you all were you already up, Soda? Yeah! I woke up earlier and have been tidying up! Tidying what up? After we came in this room, we fell asleep immediately. The place was so clean that there wasn't much to do. But I figured that a day had passed and some dust might have gathered. Bro. Whoa! This place is sparkling clean! You did not have to do that. While I was cleaning, I made a promise to myself. I'm not going to make mistakes during the competition. That's fantastic! I'll make the same promise to myself as well. Alice, it's different. You haven't you haven't messed up even once. Let's do our best out there, everyone. Right. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. No titties were touched. On accident. On purpose. On purpose. I'm strong. Oh my so god, my next stage. Okay, stronger. this is the wait, no, this is a different game. The first game was like us hopping around. What is this? Smash Soda Story Mode. In this game, use the hammer and hit the Nikes that appear to get the points. Mustang will occasionally appear, hitting him will cause your HP to decrease. Uh, in the Story Mode, achieve the target score. U W E A S D D X. Oh, I see, I see. I am going to mess this up. I have no control over my fingers. But I know I'll mess up. After getting ready, we head out to the main wow, hall. Everyone's already here! I think we may be the last one. Did we <laughs> take a bath? Yeah, they sure aren't messing around. Even though we arrived on time, all the other teams have already arrived and warm enough. Huh? I see Rouge over there. It looks like she is speaking with some people. Yeah, you're Do right. Do you think something is going on? Ooh, the white and black bunny's friend! Do you think they'll be over there? Let's go check it out! Okay. When we head over where Rouge is, we see her speaking to Milk and Sugar, who seems to be in a bit of a pickle. Is there really no other way? Hmm. Hey, There's something to matter. Well, Freema withdrew from the competition. What? Wh why? You you guys did not do. You guys did not do anything. Yeah, she said Coin Rush has lots of good nap spots, the so she decided to sleep instead of participating in the competition. Yeah, I knew it! No wonder she was so cooperative on the first day. It'd be a shame for the team to withdraw. So, we were discussing if there was any way we could stay in the game. It's not like we were disqualified, so... We'd hate to have to bow out now. Yeah, you wasted a day in here. And it'd be mm, a bit sad to miss out all of the food and the accommodations you get for free. According to the rule, if a player drops out or is injured, 
they could be replaced by someone else. However, you'd have to find a replacement before the second game begins. Is it Mary? I have a feeling it's Mary. Seriously? This entire area is filled with other participants. So how are we supposed to find a new team member that quickly? That's not true. There's someone here who isn't involved in the competition. It's Mary, right? What? Who? Dr. Bunny! Yeah, it's Mary. Come again? Oh, you mean Mary. Hmm. I don't see any problem with that on our end. At any rate, the most important thing is whether she's willing to do it. Rouge's re Rouge raises her head slightly and looks towards the infirmary where Mary is standing in front Seems of. Seems like you're discussing something interesting. So? What do you think, Mary? Hmm. I don't really have much to do while the games are underway. Also, if someone were to sustain an injury out there, I'd be in a better position to help them straight away. I'm no athlete, though. I'm afraid I'd only end up dragging you all down. It's better It's better for the team to be dragged down, even though they were already dragged down because of uh, Sleepyhead. But yeah, it's better to be dragged down than literally bowing out of the competition. It's okay. We'll be disqualified without you, so something is better than nothing. Right. Exactly. Just participating in the first place will be doing us a huge solid. Really? Well, since you asked, I suppose I can join you. Yes, yes, thank you! If we win, you'll be entitled to Freema's share of the winnings. Of course. Glad to have you on the team. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Man, Freema literally tr threw all of everything she could probably get. Alright, we'll make it official then. Mary will replace Freema. So fun. Thank you, Rouge! Where did you come from? Unbeknownst to me, Mustang has already ascended the stage with a microphone in his hand. Bonjour, everyone! The change mode in team formations is also part of the charm of this event! Really? As it opens up all sorts of possibilities! Yeah, like including the nurse. Now that it looks like you've terminated your discussion, let us move on to the second game. Let's go! Whoa! Field change. Go to field now. Now, what change? Almost. Oh. What is that? Oh, that's. That's Sugar and. What's his name again? Milk? I, I I forgot her name. That's the only thing that changed, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much the only thing that changed. Oh, the game! Oh, I'm not really confident in this. What do we have in store for you all this time? <gasps> it's, it's none, none other, other than Z. Nike Wackamole. Wackamole? Is that why we use a hammer to bunk moles that pop up? Yeah. Uh... So, what exactly is the Nikkei version of it? Are you supposed to dodge or something? At that moment, a large box starts to descend from the ceiling. Several large holes are cut into the oh, top. Those are some big holes. I reckon Rabbity can crawl through them if he wants to. In this game, two teams will take turns playing offensive month or defensive month. How can you... How can you be defensive in Whack-A-Mole? I understand. I understand what's going to happen. They'd be like, team one is going to pop out and hide, and if the attacker missed, they like the defenders get a point or something, probably like that. The leader of the offensive team will be given a hammer. Oh my god! Still, oh my god, Soda's going to get the hammer. She, ha I'm pretty sure she has the not so great reflexes. Well, the members of the defending team will go into the box lintria. <laughs> You can't be serious. A serious heart attack! The moles in this game will be none other than yourselves. Oh wait, crud. I'm going to be smacked with a hammer. <laughs> hitting other team members will earn you points, while hitting anything else will cost you points. The team with the Imperial score at the end of the round will be eliminated. Or if you stay in one hole for too long, or do not leave the game after being hit, that will also result in a point deduction for your team. Crud, I can't mess this up. Oh no, I'm the team leader. Does that mean I'm the one who has to hit them with the hammer? That is right. How am I supposed to do that? With no mercy, show no mercy, bitch. I know it's not a real hammer, but still, won't it 
hurt? And you're hitting me gaze, my guy. Is there anyone else who can do this? I'm sorry, but the rules expressly forbid it. Oh, man. The first team to play will be Team Soda and Team okay, Milk. Okay, I was right. It, her name is Milk. Soda, prepare to start working. As for the rest of you, get into the box. What? We're starting right now. Whatever you do, don't hesitate, just start whacking. What? Wait, how like does this even work? Does she like have to run around the giant box and hit people? Good luck! Thanks. Alice and I step to the to the side and get ready to cheer on Soda. Meanwhile, the member of the opposing team enter the box. Ready? Set go! Oh dear god, I am going to be oh, Okay, I'm gonna mess this up. Oh, oh, I'm cracked, I'm cracked. Oh god, I'm cracked, 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 cracked. Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, that's Mustang, that's Mustang. Woo! I accidentally hit Mustang. Easy. Easy. Out of fear that may that she may have harmed someone, Soda can bring herself to swing the hammer with full force. As a result, she ended up missing most of the moles. There's not God much damn it. time. Will the game end with an unremarkable score? Oh man. Just then. <sighs> oh shit, she actually stuck. Oh dear, this is bad. I'm stuck. <gasps> Bro, her behind is defenseless. Are you okay? Soda, now's your chance. <laughs> They're right, you know. Since I'm stuck, I won't be able to disappear down the hole. Bro, this is unfair. So if you give me a few good whacks, you'll be able to get a bunch of points. Nah, she'd be taken advantage of. But won't I end up hurting you? Oh, don't worry about that. It's just a game, you know. You're not going to hurt me. Uh, I guess so. Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Soda, Soda gently taps... Mary on the head with the toy hammer. At the same time, the sounds of whistle echoes through the area. Okay, that concludes the game! <sighs> what Milk and her team members maneuver their way out of the claustrophobic box drenched in sweat. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I didn't plan on getting stuck. It's okay. None of us could have predicted that would happen. However, what? It's nothing. I'm assuming we got quite a few points deducted since you hung around that one hole for a while. Ooh, that's actually right. Milk, are you good with a hammer? You bet I am. I'll give it all I've got! Oh shit, nah, she's gonna give me a concussion. Thump, 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 thump. Milk wields her hammer like a pro, bonking us all in the head with a startling speed. Time's up! Now we're gonna win with a one point difference. Team Cafe Sweetie has also finished the hmm, game. These results are plus interesting. The team which will be eliminated only lost by a single I knew point. it. I knew it. It is a one point difference. Oh no, we must be the ones who got eliminated. The other team racked up a whole bunch of points. Whereas we hardly got any because of me. I'm sorry everyone. Don't give up so quickly, they haven't announced the results yet. Yeah, we're gonna win in a one point I difference. Guess. Do you reckon that's how it's gonna go down? Well, regardless of the outcome, we did our best, and that's what counts. Truly. And. What's her name again? Freema? Yeah, Freema sucks. Let's just wait and see. It's with a heavy heart that I must announce that the team which has been eliminated is. <sighs> None other than. <laughs> None other than. <laughs> Wow, did not expect that one. Color me, color me the color of surprise. Hmm. Despite the fact that Milk was admirer Blanc speedy with the hammer, unfortunately, the points deducted due to Mary getting stuck had an impact significant on this score. It's a shame, but it looks like it's game over for them. Easy win, like easy. Oh my god, that's so easy. That the win is so easy, my god. Oh my. Oh. Man, Mary feels like dirt right now. The other team proceeds according to the predetermined bracket and are subsequently divided according to the winner and loser. Oh 
With that, our second game has come to an end. Those who have been eliminated are free to stay and spectate or leave the area. Our third game begins tomorrow. But until then, feel free to amuse yourself. Bruh, what about Mary? She she's gonna force she's gonna be forced to leave. And most importantly, don't forget to have a good time! <gasps> Entertainment! Entertainment! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> boom boom boom. Very much so, very lucky. We avoid elimination by the skin of our teeth. Bro, do teeth even have skin? But Soda strangely doesn't be, seem too thrilled about it. Yeah, she almost banged the entire, like, team. <sighs> After getting lost in her thoughts for some time, Soda walks towards Milk and her team. Huh. I'm sorry, you guys. I got too excited. And ended up sticking my entire upper body out of the hole. It's alright. We appreciate that you did everything you could. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Then, I'll head back to the infirmary. Why don't we grab dinner together if you're still around later? Sure, let's do that. That's nice. Prima won't get shit, though. Mm, um... Yes, what is it? You... you all did great. Excuse me? What did you just say? I just wanted to say that you all did a great job out there. Huh? Why are you coming over here to tell us that? It's just... I think it's a real shame that your team was eliminated after you all put in so much effort. If you feel so bad about it, why didn't you volunteer to get eliminated in our stead? Oh shit. I... <sighs> Settle down, Milk. You're getting a bit heated. <sighs> Fine. Since you came all the way over here, let me ask you something. Why are you participating in this event? Me? Well... The Maid Cafe isn't doing so well, unless something changes. We'll most likely have to close down by next month. Seriously? <sighs> Considering the fact that your livelihood is about to close down, you sound awfully casual about it. Well... You... you are bullying her. To think we lost to someone like that. Damn! Damn, you're you're disrespecting Soda so hard. Even volume. <laughs> Us being eliminated isn't really that important. In fact, I'd say we did pretty darn good considering we had Mary as a last minute replacement. I'm perfectly happy with our performance. The only thing that frustrates me is that we lost by one measly point. <sighs> yeah, that sucks. And to some lily livered sucker like you who isn't in it to win! Damn! Like seriously, damn. They, why are these? Why is volume and milk so harsh towards soda? I want to win just as much as anyone here. I gave it my all out there. You gave it your all? Did you really? You didn't give that hammer a proper swing even once. That's because I thought I might hurt. You saw for yourself that it was a toy. And the other members were bonking people on the head with it. Honestly, if I was in soda's position, I would have smacked every single one of them without mercy. Do you think everyone else is a bunch of psychopaths who are okay with bashing each other's brains in? <laughs> and what about your team members? Did you ever think about them having to scurry around in that stuffy box? <sighs> your performance during this round was a disgrace, and I'm ashamed to have lost to someone like you. Ah, oh, the disrespect. The worst part is it's honestly justified. If you don't like what I'm saying or how I'm saying it, then I suggest you get out of my face. Oh! Oh! Damn! Milk storms off with a sour look on her face. <sighs> Sorry about that. You came at a bad time. Bro. The, uh, uh, Freema, Sugar, and like... And like, uh, Milk? Uh, Freema and like, Milk is super opposite, and Sugar is just in the middle being nonchalant. As you can see, Milk is in a rather foul mood. Foul mouth, my guy. If Kirsten was a thing, she'd be dropping the F-bomb like 10 times in that paragraph. She gets pretty competitive sometimes. Pretty competitive is only a, a fraction of what she has been. I apologize for her excessively harsh remarks. As for me, I'd recommend you take some time out and think about whether you're really giving this your all. See? Sugar. She's being nonchalant about this. 
Having set her pace, Sugar quietly gets up and follows Milk. How about Freema? Did she already buzz off? Cheers away. Hey there, Twinkling Bunny! We're about to eat! Aren't you hungry? Hi, Alice. Actually, I'm a bit tired. I think I'll head to the room to rest. You two eat without me. Ah, oh, that shit. Soda smiles and heads into the room. Mm, she seems way different from before. Do you think she's okay? No. She'll be fine, let's go eat. Mm. Figuring that Soda might need some time alone, Alice and I stroll around Coin Rush and return to the room later. Dot dot dot, what if she is crying or sitting on the ground all depressed? Oh no, we shouldn't let the innocent Alice do that do come inside. Huh? Deep click. Alice opens the door and I peer inside worriedly. Hi Soda. Ah, you're back. I got bored after resting. So I decided to do some cleaning. Bro, you're not even a germaphobe. It's all spick and span now. Contrary to my expectations, Soda seems positively effervescent. It sure is. <laughs> you flatter me. Anyway, you two must be tired. Go ahead and wash up. <laughs> How was the dinner? It was good. Delicious! It would have been even better if you'd join us, Green Bunny. Green Bunny? You're coming with us tomorrow and I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> okay. Despite all the awkward enthusiasm, I sense something isn't quite right. I gingerly up... Gingerly? What does gingerly mean? Approach Alice before asking her a question. Alice, why did you call Soda Twinklin' Bunny? Oh, why didn't you call? Yeah, I noticed that too. Oh, that? Well, that's because she's not beaming like she was before. Hmm, sure, Soda may be... Sure, Soda may be standing there with the same smile she always has. But... Bro, she looks like she's gonna kill me. She looks like a yam dairy, my guy. The air of happiness that once surrounded her is now absent. Her usual sparkle that brings a smile to your face with just a single glance seems to have vanished. Golden rush to be continued. Ah, that's a nice. Okay, that's it for part one. Yeah, that's it for part one, and part two is already is unlocked, but I'm not gonna record that today because it's already pretty late. I don't know about that chicken though, I don't know why she roosting over there. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'm gonna do this, do th this. That's better. Thank you for watching, and I'm really, I really like the first part of this so far because it's so nice. Not gonna lie, it's still weird for Alice to be here, seeing that she is like the innocent and childlike character in this game. Uh, yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and I really do hope you enjoyed this, because I surely have. Uh, thank you, and uh, bye nerds!